Hi everyone! In this video, we're diving into the world of post-quantum cryptography, what it is, why it matters, and why governments and industries around the globe are racing to prepare. As quantum computers become reality, our current authentication and encryption methods won't hold up. So we're going to break down why this shift is urgent, what's at stake, and what the path forward towards quantum-resistant security looks like. Let's dive in. What is post-quantum cryptography? Post-quantum cryptography refers to cryptographic algorithms designed to resist attacks from quantum computers. But let's look at why we need new algorithms. Pre-quantum cryptographic algorithms like RSA and ECC are designed to be fast and easy to compute while extremely difficult to reverse. For classical computers, computing the output only takes one-tenth of a microsecond, but breaking these algorithms would take quadrillions to septillions of years. However, quantum computers using Shor's algorithm can reduce that task to just a matter of hours. If we just increase the key size for RSA and ECC, computations are slower without significantly improving protection. And if we wanted comparable protections to pre-quantum systems, it would take 100 days to compute the output, making it inefficient for real-world applications, which is why we are adopting new post-quantum algorithms. One more thing to note is that only ECC and RSA algorithms are completely broken by quantum computing. Symmetric authentication, which utilizes AES or SHA algorithms, is only minimally affected and only requires greater key strengths to address the quantum computing threat. Why does post-quantum cryptography matter now? Now, while quantum computers are an obvious threat, it is debated whether practical quantum computers are 5, 10, or even 50 years away. So why are governments and industry leaders preparing now? The problem is data can be harvested today and decrypted later when quantum computing becomes commonly available. This threat, known as Harvest Now, Decrypt Later, is driving proactive efforts by governments and industry leaders to prepare systems now. How should developers prepare for PQC? Governments, especially the US, are actively driving this transition through frameworks such as the Commercial National Security Algorithm Suite, or CNSA. In converting from CNSA 1.0 to 2.0, we see that ECDH, ECDSA, ECC, or Diffie-Hellman, and RSA algorithms will be prohibited to use for all products that employ public standard algorithms in NSS. The new PQC algorithm suite includes MLChem, formerly Kyber, which is a modular lattice-based key encapsulation mechanism replacing ECDH. MLDSA, formerly Dithium, is also a modular lattice-based mechanism for digital signatures, which will replace ECDSA. For the secure hash algorithm, we only need to increase key strengths. LMS is a hash-based stateful signature scheme, often used in secure boot and firmware verification. It can be used in place of MLDSA, but adds complexity due to its stateless design. Finally, XMSS is also a hash-based signature scheme, but we have seen more initial use with LMS than XMSS. When do developers need to be ready? There are different goals for the timeline based on end equipment and the application. For software and firmware signing, implementation needs to start immediately to support CNSA 2.0 as the default by 2025 and use CNSA 2.0 exclusively by 2030. For web browsers, servers, and cloud services, they must support in default to 2.0 by 2025 and exclusively by 2033. Traditional networking equipment needs to be defaulting to 2.0 by 2026 and exclusively by 2030. Operating systems need support by 2027 and exclusively by 2033. Niche equipment needs support by 2030 and exclusively by 2033. And finally, custom applications and legacy equipment should be completely transitioned to CNSA 2.0 by 2033. To wrap up, post-quantum cryptography is not just a theoretical future. It is a present-day challenge with clear deadlines. The threat is real, the standards are maturing, and industries must act now to stay ahead. 